She's older than me, but she's still my baby. A member of our ASC dance team, also Degna Delta Sigma Theta. And she's going to be coming to the stage and blessing us with a word. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? I thought she was in the hallway. I didn't know you were sitting right there. Please welcome to the stage, Jima Famula. What's poppin', baby? about my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I'm going to be talking about what it's like being an African in an African-American based sorority, because um, we need to talk about it. Um, and I'm going to talk about you know, how you can get involved with it if you're interested and you have had an inkling or had a question. Hopefully, I can get that answered for you. Um, so as Gian said, my name is Gina Fambula. Um, I'm West African, I'm from Liberia. I'm currently here at IPY in law school, also pursuing a master's in public health as well. Um, I'm a Delta, as you can see. Adjust the back, y'all see that? <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, um, NPHC, so what it stands for is National Pan Hellenic Council, right? Um, NPHC is composed of nine international Greek letter sororities and fraternities. Um, we're also known as the Divine Nine, right? So amongst that, as you can see, these are our shields, as we like to call them. Um, it's composed of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, um, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Beta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and some other people. <laughs> Y'all get the picture. Um, as an entity, NPHC was founded um, in 1930, so the organization of the, the council was founded in 1930. Um, as far as the Divine Nine and the various fraternities and sororities that are composed of, um, they were all started in different days, obviously. Um, but all of us were pretty much all founded um, to bring African Americans on campus together, right? So at the time that these organizations were started, there was a lot of racism. These people felt isolated on these campuses. They felt like they didn't have a way to come together, like how we're all sitting, um, and just help each other study, help each other you know, feel uplifted, feel like they have someone that they can lean on. And so they wanted to unite black people. They wanted to unite black men, black women. Um, so first and foremost, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated was founded in 1906 um, on the campus of Cornell University. They were the first. <laughs> um, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, they came next. Um, they were founded on Howard University in 1908. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, they were founded right here in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated was founded in 1911 at Howard University. And the Dynamic Divas of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded in 1913 on the campus of Howard University by 22 illustrious women. Um, the Brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated were founded in 1914 on the campus of Howard University. Um, Zeta Phi Beta was also founded at Howard in 1920. Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, they were founded 1922 right here in Indianapolis um, at Butler University. Um, and then Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated was founded at Morgan State University in 1963. Um, so as you all may know, IEPY has its own chapters here. Um, I'm sure you may be seen at various multicultural shows. You've seen them step or present you know what they're all about. You've probably heard the calls, you've seen the strolls, you've seen the parties, you've seen some of the community engagement that these organizations put on, right? 
Um, so specifically, I'm going to talk about Delta Sigma Theta Shorty Incorporated because that's all I know. Okay, so I can't speak for everybody else and what they do, um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you some information about my sorority, who we are, and my journey there. Um, but I would like to first shout out to um, my sorority sister, Liz. She's the president of NPHC. So if you are interested, definitely she's one of the best people to speak to. Um, I'm currently at the law school, so I don't really, I'm not as involved, but she's president, so yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that. Okay. So first and foremost, as I said, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded in 1913 at um, Howard University um, by 22 women. So these women originally were a part of another organization who said they were going to bring about change and be a voice for black women. However, when our founders went to you know, one of the meetings where they were getting together to do this, they didn't see that. They saw more of, oh, we want to throw parties and you know, be social. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but our sorority wanted to do more than that, right? We wanted to change the world. We want to make sure women have a voice in every career path that they choose. We wanted to make sure women just had a voice in general that didn't involve us being cute all the time, right? Even though we are cute. Um, specifically, um, Delta wanted to bring about change. Delta means change. So these women stepped out and created their own organization. A very bold move because, I mean, let's be honest, everybody wants to be together, wants to be one, but sometimes you have different views of what you see as the end goal. Um, so Delta was created and other chapters were charted at other universities. Um, as for me personally, I became a member in 2014 at Purdue University. Um, you can go ahead. Next, 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 we'll come back to this. Okay, right here. Um, so I joined in 2014 at Purdue University. This is my line, as we call it. These are the women that were initiated with me. Um, as you can see, I am the ace of the line, the first. My line name is Vitality, meaning I have a lot of life inside of me. And that's what Delta brought to me. Delta made me see that you can carry yourself as a woman and still not have boundaries. You can be live, you can be full, you can be who you are. And that's what it really did for me. Um, when I first got to Purdue, you know, I'm from Africa. None of my parents are Greek. No sisters, no uncles, nothing, right? So obviously I get to campus, I'm like, oh, what's this about? And I see the yard show, I'm like, okay. I love to dance, so seeing that, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll see y'all. Um, I started researching, which is the first step I'll tell all of you guys. If you are interested in any organization, whether it's Greek, whether it's Delta, or another organization, NPHC, research, Google. Y'all know we got it right on our phones. Figure out what these people are. What do they stand for? Because this is something, this is a lifetime thing, right? So don't enter anything without knowing the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I researched, heard all the horror stories, heard all the beautiful stories, and so I started going to the events. I'm like, okay, I, I, I like what I see, I like what you know. I found out. I found out that Deltas, in order to join, first and foremost, they have the highest GPA requirement, 2.75. You don't get in by just having a 2.0. You have to be more. And I was at Purdue University. I'm like, okay, I like that. I don't, I don't want to just be regular. I want to be more. So that was the first thing that caught my eye. Um, so I started going to the events. I see the events. They had events about domestic violence. They had events about international awareness. And I'm like, international? OK. OK, I'm from Africa, so international. Um, the Deltas on campus were amazing. I mean, I'm talking the first black woman to become homecoming queen, black and a Delta. Um, when I was there, she was another Delta was running for homecoming queen, which I don't know if you all know this, but being black and running for something like that at Purdue is a big deal. It's whitewashed. There's like a couple sprinkles of black people. Um, so that was just really bold and it inspired me so much. Um, I'll never forget. So go to the events, introduce myself. I was very professional. I don't want anyone to think of me as Oh, she was ratchet, this, 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 or whatsoever. I went up to them as a woman. Hello, my name is Jima Pambula. I'm very interested in your organization. Can you tell me how I can get involved? So from there, uh, 
you know, they told me, come to our events, you know, and just keep keep contact with us. Be, be, you know, show us that you're worthy. Show us that you're doing work in the community. Okay, I took that. I went. I got involved with so much, and they were like, okay. They started noticing me, right? Um, next thing I knew, Tama Delta. <laughs> um, so from there, I Delta taught me, it helped me grow professionally and personally, as I said. I have blind sisters who, one is getting her master's degree in psychology, one is getting her doctorate in food science, one is running Deloitte. I don't know if you all know, that's a consulting company. She works on the technical side. Right now, she's working with Mercedes to make sure all of their data is safe and secure from breach. I mean, that's just, ugh, it amazes me. I have another line sister who's, right now, she's also in grad school getting a master's in public health. So essentially what I'm trying to say is, you are not gonna be a Delta and be a regular woman. You're gonna be, you're gonna strive for more. And that's what Delta did for me, it helped me First of all, know how to walk up to someone at a career fair and introduce myself professionally, present myself as someone that they would want, you know, present myself as, as someone that would be an asset to their company versus, oh, I can do this for you. No, I want them to want me. And that's what Delta really helped me find. Um, so as you know, we step, we stroll. So I got a little video for y'all of my line when we were on campus and, you know, what we did. And besides that, we did a lot of other things. Like, um, so my line knew I was from Liberia at the time. Ebola was really big. When I tell y'all, we literally had an event that we um, cooked food. We had called out everybody in the community. We made um, medical packets. So we had like little bags full of hand sanitizer, gloves, and all this other stuff to help people stay clean in Liberia to keep the Ebola from spreading. Um, it was a really phenomenal event. We had an event of where we brought black men and the police together to make them see why, are they, why you know, what's going on? Where's the disconnect, right? Excuse me. So that was, those are some of the events we do. Um, I am currently involved in the Indianapolis alumni chapter, which is once you graduate from college, there is an opportunity to do more and carry on. So. I sometimes do work with them. I'm a little more busy now being a law student and a master's student, so I'm not as involved as I would like, but with time, don't you worry. Um, but okay, I'm gonna show you guys the yard show. I'm not I'm not gonna play the whole thing because y'all already know, but I'm gonna let y'all get a look. <laughs> So this is at Purdue. This is our yard show. It's literally on the yard. Thank you. 
ever be when all the black people come out. I know we look a lot, but there's really not that many of us. Um, I've given you kind of 
the background. Another tip, be discreet. You ain't gotta tell the whole campus you wanna be a Delta, right? We, you know, you don't go around tell, oh, I'm gonna work for Rolls Royce when you haven't even gotten hired or had an interview, right? So do your research, move silently, make your moves, and if it's for you, it's for you.